We're joined this evening with the Toledo Fire Department Assistant Chief Luis Santiago. We appreciate your time. Your department has been extremely busy over the last couple of months with vacant house fires and arsons. Do you have a sense of what's going on? Is this a specific group? Is it a bunch of people? What do you know so far? Well, we are experiencing and noticing some trends. Uh, a lot of our fires are happening in the south end and some in, in East Toledo. Uh, we do have some leads that we're following with uh, law enforcement agencies at this time. Um, hopefully we're getting closer uh, mm -hmm. and trying to uh, curtail this, if not end it totally. Yeah. Uh, but they've been keeping things pretty busy, especially uh, in the south end as of, as of late. So do you think... I, they can't be isolated, right? So many fires and such in the, you know, one part of town. It can't be isolated, right? No, it doesn't appear that it's isolated. Uh, there's uh, similarities in some of these fires that are happening, and uh, those similarities are being plotted. Uh, areas of town are being plotted. And again, uh, the law enforcement agencies, along with our fire investigators, are working together on this. and. Hopefully, we come to resolve pretty soon. Okay, so let's talk about business owners. Let's say you, you're somebody in town, you have a vacant building. What can they do to help to maybe sure up their building, secure it a little bit so if somebody can't get in and do something? Well, that as far as secure it, as you just touched on, uh, you know, they have to secure it the best they can. Uh, it also be uh, behooves of them to make contact with neighbors and maybe other businesses around their area just to keep a watch on things. Uh, we can't have uh, law enforcement or, or fire personnel every street corner There's every not minute. Enough, there'd never be enough of them. And uh, where we gain success on uh, coming to closure on something like this, our neighbors are people of, that are able to observe what's going on throughout the day. And uh, the funny thing about this, you know, in past uh, fires and strings of fires that have happened, you know, a lot of times they happen after midnight and after... Mm -hmm after hours and uh, as of late they, these have been happening during broad daylight so I think yesterday was what two three o'clock in the hour twelve fifty five okay yeah. and that's a Sunday afternoon so yes. there's a lot of people around and uh, and we just we had one this afternoon at uh, about two thirty this afternoon so uh, so there's no rhyme or reason I guess on the time pattern I no. guess which has got to be frustrating to you because you don't have a, a clear pattern on when you you know when you've got to get out there and no we'll get a string of uh, some fires during the day and we'll get a string of some fires at night I mean it's it seems like whatever efforts if they're coordinated that they're they're doing their best to to try to trip up our our sense of uh, honing in on a different tendency yeah so we the residents if we have vacant buildings around our area i guess if the business owner doesn't necessarily reach out to us we should be watching as well to see who's going in and out if we see people going in and out police right away right absolutely if uh, if there's any activity that is just suspicious or out of the ordinary uh they need to call 911 the 911 the police or crime stoppers Okay, and you can do either one of those. So, so you, you, if you see something, it's more call police and not fire necessarily, right? Because you guys wouldn't have a law enforcement arm to go out and do anything. Well, right? our law enforcement arm is our uh, our fire investigators. They okay. they do have police powers and they they do have law enforcement ability, but uh, we work very hand in hand with uh, Toledo Police and other law enforcement agencies. Okay, we appreciate your time, Assistant Chief Santiago from the Toledo Fire Department. No Thank you very much. And that is your talk back.